Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Jacob Weasel and welcome to Ninja Says Goodbye Part 2. Now first off, I would like to apologize for the fact that this video will not be anything like uh, the previous videos that I've done where everything is staged, dramatic camera angles, dramatic lights, dramatic zoom-ins on people's faces. I love those zoom-ins. This is going to be a table read where all the characters, all the actors, come together and read their lines aloud. Now the reason for this is because, it's not because I didn't have the script ready, the script is actually right here. It's just the fact that I had no idea how to film it. I had half of the second video ready to film, but I could not figure out the last half. So instead of just giving you a half, so instead of giving you a half done video, I might as well just give you characters reading out their scripts and their lines in the way they would if this was a fully produced video. Apologize for that, and hopefully one day I'll be able to actually get this video filmed and have it actually be in the storyline of the videos to come. So, without further ado, um, I'm here with Doug, Craig, and Ninja, and we are all ready and set to uh, get our lines read. Right guys? Yep, ready to go. Okay. All right, let's get started. Uh, this video takes place right after Ninja says, now for the reason why I'm here, it's a bit of a story. So it takes place right after uh, Ninja says goodbye part one ends. And uh, Ninja, you have the first line, so go ahead and read. Oh, uh, Ninja, you have to speak a little bit louder than that because people were complaining in the last video that they couldn't hear your voice. So, uh, speak up a bit. Close to a decade ago, Thank you. our leader noticed a particular phenomenon that took place in this realm. A man by the name of Jod recorded himself at a zoo in front of some elephants and then uploaded the video to a site now known as YouTube. That incident is what we consider now to be the first of an epidemic. But at the time, our leader thought it nothing more than a minor issue, so he brushed it aside. This oversight would prove most costly. For five years later, this minor issue evolved into a greater threat. Soon, hundreds, thousands, millions of creators were uploading videos, and people were watching. Why? What's wrong with watching YouTube videos? Time. Technology. Innovation. All three of these are being halted from progressing because people are watching videos. On average, hundreds of millions of hours are wasted daily on YouTube. And in a week's time, three billion hours are wasted watching videos. Do you know how many years three billion hours amounts to? Uh, I'm guessing about 35 years. No. In one week, humanity has wasted 342,465.753 years just watching videos on YouTube. Oh, holy crap. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of time. Yes, yes it is. It was at that time, five years ago, I was assigned to this planet to deal with the problem. I was sent here to kill as many YouTubers as I could find. From Tyler Oakley to John Jafari, I was sent to eliminate them all. And my first target was you, Dougie. What? Me? Why me? I don't know. Something seemed different about you from the others. Okay, um, so what stopped you from killing me? We became friends. Now that you know of my mission and the organization that I'm aligned with, you are now in ten times much more danger than you were not knowing. And other assassins will stop at nothing to silence you. What? What? what are we gonna do now? I'm still leaving for my mission. You're abandoning us? If I don't leave and start my mission, this entire planet will be destroyed. For the leader would deem it unsalvageable and unfit for life in the universe, and it will have its planet annihilated. Okay, but what about us? What about the assassins? They're gonna, they're gonna come kill us, man. Do not worry. I have a plan. This is my clone. He is of same mind and body as I, albeit only half as strong as I am. He will be taking my place here and attempt to ward off any would-be assassins that come near. Did you just copy Nora? 
But Ninja, you said they're gonna be sending like a buttload of trained assassins after us. How's only one clone gonna help us? Well, when I was training to become an assassin at the academy, I was held as a prodigy amongst the teachers and other students. My skills are with that of the leader in this youth. Oh. With just my presence alone, it should be able to ward off any attackers that draw near. And so, now that I have everything in order, I must leave. Thank you, my friends. I had fun. And I will miss you all. Goodbye. Ninja, wait! Ninja, wait! something for you. I, I was gonna give this to you for your birthday on the 31st, but since you're leaving and all, I thought I might as well give it to you now. Here you go. It's a new pair of gloves. I saw that your old pair went missing, so I went out and bought you some new ones. I hope you like them. Yeah. <laughs>